A lot of talk right now about Russia and the effect of these sanctions. There is a piece actually on Bloomberg today where we got a chance to look at an internal report in the economy in Russia suggesting that it's actually hurting more than perhaps we understand. What's your assessment from where you are on how badly the Russian economy is being affected by these sanctions? Well, David, thank you for having me. It's great to be here with you. And our view is that Russia's economy is in um, a great deal of pain because of the sanctions that we've implemented with 30 other countries. And the pain is going to continue for years to come. And it's going to hit Russia's revenues, and it's going to decrease those revenues over time. But it's also going to hit Russia's supply chain and the supply chain that it's using to build the weapons of war that it's using in Ukraine and its ability to project power into the future. Their leading tank manufacturers are unable to ma manufacture tanks today. They they don't have the chips that they need to produce precision missiles going forward. And ultimately, our goal is to make sure that we continue to go after the supply chain, but also to decrease their revenues over time to make it harder for them to project power. When you talk about the extended period of time that the pain may be inflicted, uh, in this report uh, on the Bloomberg Today, uh, it actually says that the Russian economy will not recover until the end of the decade, if then. It may go beyond that period of time. Is that consistent with what the numbers you're seeing? That's consistent with what we're seeing, and it also comes down to human capital. Those individuals who can leave Russia are trying to leave Russia. And because of that, Russia is shutting their borders from people being able to leave. But more importantly, they've shut down the ability for people to take money out of Russia. Today, you're able to put money into Russia, but Russian citizens and individuals from outside of Russia are prevented from taking money out, which has led to a strengthening of the ruble because there is the ability for money to come in, but no money can escape. Ultimately, this is putting the Kremlin in a tough position. They have to make choices between using the revenues they have to prop up their economy or to continue to fund their unjustifiable war in Ukraine. And we want to continue to make that choice harder by reducing their revenues.